Diabetes Free India. How is it possible? This is the third video in our five-part series for World Diabetes Day. In part one and two, we understood that one, in type two diabetes, there is no shortage of insulin. The problem is insulin is not working properly. Insulin resistance with excess insulin harming the body. Two, a single root cause, chronic inflammation, drives diabetes and its companion diseases. Today, we address the most crucial question. How does diabetes damage organs? And how do we prevent it? If India is to lead in health, our first milestone must be type 2 diabetes free India. That is the first step towards health freedom. Remember, freedom from disease requires informed commitment built on three pillars. One, right knowledge. Know the real root cause of your condition. Two, right application. Apply that knowledge effectively in daily life. Three, right clinical support. Secure monitoring and guidance to reverse disease and maintain health. When you become an informed patient with proper support, your journey to a disease-free future begins. Ask yourself if any of these red flags are present. 1. Early symptoms of hyperinsulinemia. That includes weight gain, protruding tummy, darkened skin patches under the arm, around the neck, forehead, cheek, etc. And high blood pressure and cholesterol and triglyceride. Second is failing organ functions. For the kidney, rising creatinine, falling GFR, forty urine, albumin in urine. For the liver, fatty liver on scan, rising liver enzymes. When we come to the heart and blood vessels, elevated troponin level, HSCR, homocysteine, plaque test. Next is inflammatory markers, abnormal CBC, ESR, CRP, etc. This means cells are being damaged faster than they are repaired. Third, nerve and blood vessel damage associated symptoms. Numbness, tingling, burning sensation and reduced sensation of extremities like hands and feet. Next is memory decline, hand tremors, leg pain and ulcers. Diminishing vision, hearing, memory, joint pain and degeneration of the joints. Exertional breathlessness, chest discomfort, which means suspected of heart vessel block. This suggests diabetes has started to injure blood vessels and nerves. Fourth is rising medication load, more pills, higher doses, adding insulin. Medicines can control glucose, but they do not remove the root cause. Side effects may create new problems. At this stage, only clinically supervised intensive lifestyle correction can repair organs and restore health. A common question with all our medical advances, why can't we cure diabetes? The answer is simple. Because most modern drugs focus on lowering blood glucose, not on fixing insulin resistance or reducing hyperinsulinemia, excess insulin in blood. Even when insulin is already high, therapy often adds more insulin to control sugar. Evidence shows chronic hyperinsulinemia injures blood vessels, accelerates fat deposition and drives complications. Glucose control without addressing insulin resistance and hyperinsulinemia leaves the disease engine running. If you have ever wondered why organs decline despite strict medication and insulin, here is the answer. 
most type 2 regimes don't target insulin resistance or hyperinsulinemia. Some even raise insulin further. That fuels, one, higher BP, kidney damage, nephropathy. Two, fatty liver, fibrosis, cirrhosis. Three, arterial plaques, atherosclerosis, heart attack, stroke. Four, eye vessel overgrowth and vision loss. Five, links to Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, PCOS, BPH, it is benign prostatic hyperplasia and more. Conditions associated in research with excess insulin. Anything in excess becomes harmful, including insulin, glucose and fat. The aim is to normalize them, not to push any one of them artificially. Hormones like thyroxine, insulin, leptin, etc. are the controllers of metabolism. Deficiency or excess can harm the body. In modern medicine, if there is an excess amount of thyroid hormone, as in Graves' disease, we try to bring it down with the medicines. If not possible, remove the entire gland or destroy it with radioactive iodine and then give Hormone replacement, levothyroxine as treatment. That is the norm. See what we are doing in type 2 diabetes where insulin resistance and excess insulin are present. Surprisingly, treating it by further increasing the insulin level to control blood glucose level, driving hyperinsulinemia to superhyperinsulinemia, simply forgetting the negative impacts of high insulin levels on health. Think, why are we going in the opposite direction? Why are we forgetting the basic principles of life sciences while treating hyperinsulinemia and insulin resistance in type 2 diabetes? Patients, healthcare providers and authorities should start thinking seriously on this disparity. What we need is a treatment method which takes care of both hyperglycemia and hyperinsulinemia together. That should be the treatment goal. Our goal is to halt damage and repair what's repairable. Lifestyle correction is the game changer because it uses three coordinated levers. One, nutrition. The fuel and raw material for bodybuilding. Using specialized testing to find your deficits and triggers to supply optimal nutrition to calm inflammation, provide clean fuel, and support cell repair. This helps restore insulin receptor function and normalize insulin and glucose. Two, circulation. Delivery and cleaning in. With a targeted physical activity to improve blood flow, so nutrient rich blood reaches tissues, clears damaged cells, and builds new healthy cells. Three, detoxification to reduce the toxin load, to lower internal toxin burden, and prevent new toxins from entering. Long-term drug load can itself strain the immune system, kidney, liver, and vessels. Under clinical supervision, as your test reports improve, medicines can often be safely reduced, allowing your own biology to do efficient repair. Cell-directed lifestyle changes are admirable, but if you are on medication for diabetes, hypertension, thyroid or cardiac problems, do not go it alone. As diet and exercise change, sugar and pressure can drop quickly. Without expert supervision, this can become dangerous. Choose scientific, clinician-guided lifestyle correction with a structured monitoring and a clear de-prescribing protocol. Your most critical health decisions should be backed by data and medical guidance, 
never guesswork no surgery is risk free no medicine is side effects free multiple medications can give drug interactions related issues and increase the development and intensity of other serious health conditions use them when they save life or prevent major harm for fractures or trauma surgical intervention is needed for severe pain painkillers is needed severe infection need antibiotics snake bite and this snake venom is a necessity dog bite rabies vaccine is needed modern medicine is excellent in emergencies but type 2 diabetes is a chronic lifestyle disease its root cause sits in daily habits and metabolism drugs and surgeries cannot rebuild organs scientifically guided lifestyle correction often can restore function quickly and safely in part 4 of the series we will see how lifestyle can influence even your genes and cellular programs and how to protect organs without unnecessary drugs or operations another important aspect is when someone is talking about healthcare and new treatment approaches you should consider the scientific background of the concerned person i am dr joel thompson started medical education in government medical college kottayam as 1981 batch and completed diploma and md in obstetrics and gynecology from government medical college tiruvannamuram kerala india in 1992 after additional training in reproductive medicine surgery and painless labor i joined government service later i resigned from government service and in 1997 started practicing as consultant at life care center devara kochi i focus on lifestyle modulation with clinical support minimizing medication and surgical intervention for lifestyle diseases the time has come to rethink how we view diabetes taking medicines for life is not the solution understanding and correcting lifestyle at its root is the solution let us unite doctors patients families and policy makers to build a future where india leads the world not in diabetes numbers but in diabetes freedom share this message with everyone you know because every informed person becomes a step towards a diabetes free india real solutions lie not in more medicines insulin or operations but in fixing lifestyle errors at the root find detailed insights on diabetes other lifestyle diseases pros and cons of modern treatments and clinically supported lifestyle correction on our website and other videos on this channel when we look beyond medicines the real secret of healing lies inside ourselves in part 4 we will explore how lifestyle reprograms biology even genes expressions and how to protect and restore organs without unnecessary drug or surgery don't miss it watch share and be part of a diabetes free india thank you diabetes free india how is it possible